Welcome back, gamers, to another installment of Grey's Anatomy. Hey, hey. Will everyone just calm down? I'm going to be fine, trust yes, me. Yes, because you're not the cliche guy in the episode who's positive and going to die at the end. Oh, we get to put needles in this guy. Well, that's just ravishing. I'm ready for this. Are you ready for this, gamers? I know you are. So let's rub some dog poop on this guy's arm so we can make it good and sterile. And give him a shot up here in the arm. I think I aim a little high. Oh, shit. Oh, well, we'll put it in there and just wiggle it back and forth. Because oh, I just wanted him to know his place in the hospital. There we go. Catheter was put in. I did learn that that's actually called a catheter when it's not just going through the, uh, you know, the other parts. Give or take an hour. Oh, this guy's awesome. Are you psychic? I'm an actuary. I assess risk. Mostly for health insurance companies, but sometimes for folks... That scares me that health insurance companies hire guys like this who know exactly when you're going to die. Do they send out people to, like, kill you if you exceed that time? 28? Uh-oh, Catherine Heigl's not gonna like that he's guessing her age. What's she gonna do here? Pick the balls with the pubic hair, or the other ones with pubic hair? Oh, she's gonna tell the truth. I think. Does she tell the truth? I picked truth, but... Knowing her being a woman, I bet she lies. Oh, that's gonna make people mad. Uh oh, she's gonna confess. Maybe. Uh oh, he's good. Surgeon in Wiener City Hospital. I give you about twenty-six and a half more years. That's a very short lifespan. Consider eating more organic food. Like it's her what, near sixty? That's pretty sad. You better check for a tear in the esophagus. Yeah. Uh-oh, the kid's still here. Who brings their kid to the hospital and keeps it in a room with a guy who just threw up tacos from lunch? God, Dr. Bailey, what are you thinking? So here we get the redirect beams of light, because that's how you make decisions in a hospital when you go to med school. Look at that. Perfect decision made. Do you want me to take him, Dr. Bailey? Thank She's going to get mad. Stevens, but I can handle my own child. Fuck you, Easy Stevens. I'm going to take care of my own baby, because I'm black and we do that shit. So we can either be bold or back down. Well, Catherine Heigl's, she's been in some movies, and she's not going to back down. So we're going to get angry, Catherine. Look at this. It, angry Izzy's going to attack her. I wonder if it's ferocious. She could be bold. I think you might want to take a closer look at the patient. This guy's just like, yeah, you need to look at me. Baby Tuck oh, wailing. What's he wailing on? Better change his diet. Oh shit, they put a humor line in. I'm sure this poor guy enjoys that like this baby smells like shit and he's having to lay here and listen to these people argue and Sandra O's just sitting there staring at his nose. She's like, What is that on his nose? It's it's kind of weird. We don't even have that in Asia. Wow, that sounded really racist. What else can you expect from a game like Grey's Anatomy? Uh oh, we're back with Dr. Yang. Should have guessed you'd turn up Yang. What? Because <laughs> whenever Yin is around, there is Yang. <laughs> so here's where Sandra O oh goes in the bitch, you know, bitch phase, and you gotta avoid nervousness and get anger. And I think I fail with this. Which big balls that have this coming at you, you know, you're kind of like, oh shit, you know, because they're moving so fast. I think I get impatient here in a minute, and I just run into one. So I'm just like, watch this. Speed. Bam. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. You know, the time's running out. It's like, yeah, anger is boiled. Let's scrub in and beat the fuck out of this girl. No, I've been busy receiving not-so-glowing reviews. Oh. Another girl just walks off. I don't care you about your problem. Me, or are you gonna stand there and pout? Yeah, are you gonna be like the Balkans before World War One? You gonna sit down there and just bitch about it? Do something. Gosh. If y'all don't get that reference, go get a history book. So now we get to do a fluoroscopy. Whatever that is, well, you're about to find out. Well, right here we have the nipple, and we're going to put a needle into it. Ah, oh, very slowly now. Excellent. And now, somehow, we have an ink pen in the body. And with this ink pen, we are going to circle these anomalies, which, you know, I don't know where they're at. Oh, they're right there. So, I mean, yeah, the game is... As excellent as this, this is this freaks me out. Listen to the noise. Oh, if you go too hard, it does that. And then look at the picture on the right, and imagine that going up in there. That's just eerie. I couldn't imagine that. 
It's like I had to watch my brother get a pick line once through his arm, and I was just like, Hoo! Yes, Dr. Yang? Yes, Dr. Yang, we're trying to concentrate. Now here we get the anger fire at her. Watch this, it heats up and burns her to death. No, just, she just gets mad. Um, I was just wondering why you gave me a bad review. Because you're a bitch. Look, you don't like me, I get it. But messing with my career, that's just cheap. No, you know, Yang, that's... You're right. I don't like that's you. That's the power you know of being a higher authority than you. I, see one. I recommended you for the fellowship. I think Wait, you could make it to Mordor. You didn't write the bad review? No. But you're making me wish I had. Because Legolas would have been a hell of a lot better than you. Gosh. So we completed yet another great scene in Grey's Anatomy. Because everybody loves this game. I know you all are excited about it. <laughs> oh, we're back to Meredith. Let's see, this guy's just... Uh... Need a hand? Can I have both? Oh, God. Can you all do any doctoring? From Mr. Henderson's frontal lobe last night. How do we proceed? General post op now. Let's drop down and have sex on him right now. He won't notice. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. We'll go for that. Way to go, Patrick Dempsey. You're you're educating her very well. So here's where we gotta do the awesome eye check again. You know, we test the vision to make sure that they're coherent and moving their eyes toward fingers, which I guess, you know, in real life, if you want to see if somebody's okay, you just move your fingers in front of them. Now let's just rip this band... Oh, 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 my bad, I forgot. He just had it took off the front of his head. I guess that wasn't very nice. So we'll put the new bandage on and just, you know, pat it on there nice and gently. I mean, he did just have the front part of his brain removed, and two doctors who don't give a shit wanted to fuck on top of him. Look at that, she just runs through the hospital. There's... Fellowship. Oh, God. Why. Those fellowships are made for doctors like her. Exactly. Everybody wants to go to Mordor and throw the ring in. Be better for her to wait a couple years until she's ready. Uh oh. I smell drama. Drama in a game like this? That that's ridiculous. Why would they do such? Oh, so we're back to the folding paper where we gotta defend Sandra O oh, or Doctor Yang. So Meredith, you know, let's let's pick her over our booty call, even though we've been begging for that. You can't be more ready than you Yeah. Can. Trust me on this one. A few more years, and I'm sure I'll be able to give her a glowing recommendation. And your recommendation this time was... She's a whore. Ooh. She didn't like that. So yeah, I mean, is this how real hospitals work? Where they just sit around and talk to each other all the time? They don't give recommendations? And somebody who's only been like a doctor for a couple years says, I know better. Oh, here's the greatest patient ever. He has the fawns. He's like, hey, <laughs> he put his thumbs down. He just, he just needs a jukebox. Fine, use a scalpel on him. Yeah, he ran his hand through a jukebox, and now he's got glass shards all in it. So we don't want to do this. So we're gonna protest because you know our picture looks awesome on the right side. So let's click these little red bubbles. I mean, look, the game, uh, gamers. This is. Yeah, they should give this to little kids in school so they could go to med school someday. A pit patient? How what? Would you like only pit patients for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, you don't go against Dr. Bailey. She just put him in his steps. Now let's go take care of the guy with Fonzarelliitis. So, this is the greatest thing ever. We have to assess his condition. So we got to figure out what's wrong with him. And so, you know, bad breath, the plague, he got shot in the throat, and he got struck by lightning. So, we have to pick all these... And I want you to hear the diagnosis that he gives him after this. This is just like the greatest thing ever. They, we pay people go to med school to learn th to say this. Oh, come on, get to the point. Dude, there's glass in your finger, big pieces. Awesome. That's what he's looking for. Kitchen window had to go. No, it was a jukebox. Uh oh, there's McSteamy. About surgery, it's so subtle. It'll be a piece of cake. Besides, that's my face. Should be perfect. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 Mick Steamy. He's fucking her in the back of the head while he pushes her in the wheelchair. Ah. I went back on Sloan's case. What happened to being afraid Dr. Sloan wasn't going to let you use the scalpel? Nothing. Then why do you want the case back? Yeah. So this is really hard. We have to either put together the black woman or the white woman. And yeah, I mean, if you miss that one, there, there's something wrong with you. I, maybe people who had the front part of their brain took out in a real hospital should play this game. You're saying it's about the learning experience, not the girl. Or not girls' learning experiences? That doesn't mean I'm not the most qualified person to be on her case. 
Karev, you screw this up, and I swear. Thank I you. swear by the moon. Hey, okay, enough that. Finish with Mr. Strand first. Yes, you gotta finish his Fonzarilliitis. Look at him, poor guy. He's still just sitting there, like, ho hum. Nobody cares. So this is really awesome surgery. You know, we just gotta instead of just picking the glass out, we have to split him wide open as I cut straight as an arrow there, and you know, gently remove the the glass shards out so oh I try to yank and it doesn't work and then this one you know I tried to go back oh I rammed it through his hand Ooh, that made me jump watching it again now we take this q-tip and rub it in the wound so it feels nice and ouch and then you know watch my pro skills as I suture him up here yeah alright Fonzarilliitis is cured there but my wedding wings bothering me bad with this swelling. God, that's awesome acting. My wedding ring's bothering me real bad with this swelling. Can you take it off, doctor? <laughs> so now we have to cut his wedding ring off. So his wife already locked him out, so now we're taking his wedding ring. I bode bad things are going to happen for this guy. Especially when he comes home without a wedding band on. What? But he's still got the Fonzarilliitis. Oh. Uh-oh, here's Booty Call. Something good? I can't talk now. See you at lunch. Yeah. I, I gotta go get some taco salad. It's not killing people or anything. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this. I'm going to break the record for this game. Five hearts on everything. Oh, we're back to Meredith. You okay in there, Mrs. Bellamy? No, I'm trying to shit. Quit watching me. Not long. <laughs> God, look at her scowl eyes. Like, when she finishes talking, she looks up at the camera, and it's, like, really eerie. But here we go again. I mean, if this is all it takes to be a doctor, you find these big-ass anomalies. Like, I didn't even know where that one was at. I just guessed. But, I mean, look, if you can't see that, you shouldn't be a doctor. You shouldn't even be a mother if you can't pick out bad things like that. On pictures. You know now watch her look. As soon as I get the report from radiology, <sighs> she's like, "I'm watching you." We were able to pinpoint the seizure focus. You're cleared for surgery. Hurrah! So after the surgery, no more seizures. There are no guarantees, but she has an excellent chance to die. Oh, we gotta put them at ease. So here, you gotta either talk about yourself or talk about the doctor who's actually gonna be doing the surgery. Well, since he's the professional, obviously the case is not to talk about myself. Dr. Shepard is one of the best neurosurgeons in the world. Yeah, he is. I'm sure he is. The thing is, my Whoa. wife, around the time that she has her seizures... The game just took like a dramatic change there. Her personality. It even froze and it's like, hey, cue the piano guy. Like a mean bastard. Oh, so she's a bitch whenever she has seizures. Personality disorder, so your mind state tends to be in total opposition while you're seizing. So sad. The piano makes it more effective. So now let's play her a happy song. The best way to get out of sad is to play Guitar Hero Grey's Anatomy style. So here we go. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's a happy beat. Not... Actually, it sounds like a funeral march to me, but... Whatever the game writers were going for there, they failed miserably. However, while I can't make any promises, there is a really strong chance that this surgery could correct changes in your personality. And then again, you could just be a total bitch. I mean, I'm not saying anything about black women, but I know that if you say the wrong thing to them, you will be in trouble. Never, never put down their waffles. Alright, we're back to George and Mr. Taco Salad Guy. This is the endoscope. It's got this little camera we use to look God, at he's such face. a vagina. That guy's like, yeah, he's such a vagina. These are a little uncomfortable. Look, Dr. O'Malley, I really appreciate all this, but honestly, it's a waste of taxpayers' money. I'm yeah, why did Obama really okay you to work on me for this game? I mean, this is terrible. Alright, so here's where I get creative. We have to spray some stuff back here, you know, and I'm just like, oh, well, it's art time. Look, it's a happy face. Yay! Happy throat. <laughs> and then I realize the timer is going really quick, and I'm like, oh, shit. Better hurry. Excellent. I've been doing risk assessment for over 13 years, and I have an 86% accuracy rate. Well, that's just fucking sweet. Instance, but you have a 14% fuck-up rate. I think his name's Wilson. Anyway. Not Wilson. Tim the Toolman Taylor won't like it if something happens to him. He's gonna die today. No, he can't die. It's Wilson. We have to talk to him over the fence. Now he's gonna ruin my home improvement. Let's play. All right, so let's let's actually get him ready for the uh, actual, you know. So I 
put some medicine in his arm. I don't think I'd injure his arm here. No, I'm actually being nice. Let's and we complete that. In your upper digestive tract. And obviously we're going to put the camera down his throat now. And this one, you know, it just looks terrible. It's such a pervert. You could change images in this. No, whoop, whoop, whoop. Obviously, I forgot how to put it. Oh shit! I forgot how to put a, guy, a tube down a guy's throat. Um, God, that sounded homosexual. All right. So, obviously, the game doesn't recognize me drawing circles. We found our six. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, rage out playing Grey's Anatomy. But we found that, and we completed the procedure. No, the guy across the hall. no, Mr. Wilson lives forever. Didn't you ever watch any of the movies with him in it? So we got to rip off the... Uh, I don't even know why we're ripping off the other one, so the guy's laughing. Does he get a joy out of uh, people dying when he's right? I mean, that just... That doesn't even make sense, really. We're supposed to be putting him down. Sorry, but no. Well, at least you're honest. See, I... There seems to be a coating on the back of your esophagus. I need to take a swab. Take and, all you want. I'm still going to be fine. <laughs> take all you want. Just rip my throat out. It's okay. Like Patrick Swayze in the movie Roadhouse. Roadhouse. So I just jammed the swab. Oh, God. Just, it won't let me do that. But Here we go, taking another throat swab. And, you know, I have to put another happy face there, which just looks terrible. So I'm just like, you know, let's just move on before you all make fun of me even more for my artistic ability. Yeah. Oh, shit, Wilson! Mr. Wilson is flatlining. Oh, well. Guess he knew what he was talking about. But as exciting as it is here at Seattle Grace Hospital Gamers, it's time to end this episode. So this is SKS, signing off.